right now with no firefighters on the scene. Ariva Martin is still with us, our legal analyst. Uh, she's a civil rights attorney at the same time. Ariva, as you see the situation, it was a very peaceful demonstration, but then things uh, quickly deteriorated. Yeah, we've seen that happen with, uh, really throughout the country as we've watched these protests erupt following the uh, brutal murder of George Floyd. And I think we minimize the pain of the protesters when we only focus on the fires or the looting because we, we, I don't think we can even understand the pain that the African-American community and communities really all over the world are feeling as we watch these deaths play out. When being killed by the police is the sixth leading cause of death for black men, we are way beyond policy changes. We're way beyond body cams or policies as it relates to tasers. We have to have that incredibly uncomfortable conversation in this country that focuses on systemic racism. And we get really close often to having that conversation. We, we teeter around the edges of it, but then we retreat from it. But until we have that conversation, we can enact policies at the local level, we can enact policies at the federal level, but they're not going to be carried out in any way that respects the dignity and humanity of African-American men. And we keep seeing that over and over again. We have been at this point on so many occasions. Walter Scott, as Chris Stewart talked about, Michael Brown, Tamer Rice, Trayvon Martin, we can do a roll call of all of the African-American men that have been killed by police and what happens in the aftermath. There's intense media uh, scrutiny of the death. There's a protest, there's call for change. And then we go back, we retreat back into that place that's safe without pushing through and having this conversation about systemic racism and how it permeates police departments around this country. And we have to have that conversation at this moment or we'll be right back here, not in five years, as Chris suggested, but we'll be back probably next week and definitely next month. How's it going, y'all? It's so sad to see how this country has become. You know, I'm only 31 years old, but yet I feel like I've seen so much in my life to even like, to be like a lot of unnecessary things, you know? Yeah, you know, the I've had a lot of crazy, you know, and things happen to me. I take, um, you know, God has taken a lot from me, but he's also given a lot to me. And I try to just stay really positive in faith in God. And um, it's just really, really crazy just to see what our law enforcement and, um, you know, people in charge are doing to this country. I just got done watching the 45, the 40, I think the 40 minute plus video of Mr. Brooks, the last uh, man that was um, shot by police officers a couple days ago. And um, yeah, he was drinking. I understand that. He was drinking and he shouldn't have been drinking and driving and shouldn't have fell asleep inside the, inside the, um, you know, the order, you know, he was ordering at Wendy's and shouldn't have fell asleep inside the line. You know, that was his mistake. 27 years old, you know, um, was being going to be charged for DWI. And then he just had to run. I don't understand why he decided to run, but this very it's it's just disappointing on how this law enforcement is going and um i can speak for hours about how i think the world should be you know me being 31 years old and um but they they shouldn't have shot the man you know they shot the man in front of you know at least a car you know a line full of people you know and that's on their cams you know, these people have cell phones. It's just only going to make them look bad, too. Like, they should have thought about it. I don't understand, you know, like, why they just decided to shoot the man. They tased the guy, and the guy was running. Why didn't they just, like, you know, do some other 
you know, do some other way around it than shooting the man three times. Like, you know, it's just gonna make the whole, it's just gonna make everybody's lives a lot. It's gonna make everybody's lives more difficult than what it already is. That's, that's what I don't get about the subject. And, um, I just want to say, you know, I hope everyone's staying safe. And, um, you know, stay safe, man. Just, you know, if you get pulled over, just listen to the cops. Like, this, you know, even if, you know, you don't believe in what they're saying, just try to cooperate with them, you know, or even just stay out of the way of the cops, you know. Don't cause attention to yourself, you know. But um, I'll leave you all on that. Carlito, we out. Be safe, y'all.